County parents say they're fed up, saying their kids keep getting left at the bus stop. Yeah, they say the bus drivers are often late or they don't even show up at all. Ten Tampa Bay reporter Andrea Lyon is live from Wesley Chapel right now with those parents' concerns and what the district says it's trying to do to help. Good morning, Caitlin and Jameson. Uh, we're here at the bus stop, the specific one we're talking about at Gwynhurst and Old Woods in Wesley Chapel. And the bus is supposed to come here around 9 o'clock, but the mom I spoke with says it's consistently 40 minutes late. And like you said, sometimes doesn't even show up at all. It happened two times last week when the parents say it was so late that the, they decided to load up all the kids from the stop and drop them off at those different schools. And this is not unusual for this specific location. According to those parents, they've totaled up the amount of times the students have been late. And they tell me they estimate the bus has been behind so many times that their middle schoolers have probably missed a month's worth of their first period class since the beginning of the school year. Now, parents say that they've tried to talk to the district and the garage, but haven't had any luck. And to make it worse, they claim the communication about being late just isn't there. Well, many mornings we get calls that the bus is going to be late, but several of those mornings they're calling after the kids should have already been on the bus. So they are just standing on the corner of a busy intersection waiting to be picked up by a bus that is is already late and now going to be even later. We did reach out to Pasco County Schools. They told us they weren't aware of any major concerns coming from parents, but because of this situation, they are going to look into it further for these parents. Caitlin. Yeah, dangerous issue here, Andrea. We know this has been a problem not only for Pasco County, but districts across the Bay Area. So has the district done anything, provided any types of solutions? Well, it's concerning, especially because there's elementary middle school students involved here, but I did talk to Pasco schools. They tell me they've done a number of things in the past couple of years, including uh, improving their hiring process. They're down to only 23 drivers short. They've also consolidated routes from more than 400 down to 270 uh, some. So they're working on that when it comes to their delays. And when it comes to population growth in Pasco County, they're also keeping a very close eye on those growing communities, hoping to better serve those communities when families move in. But something we'll definitely keep track of here. Live in Pasco County, Andre Lyon, 10 Tampa Bay.